Hello, I'm Ben back for another bucket tutorial. And today we're doing those um messages like in essentials where you do forwards and I say and then the message goes here. That sort of stuff. Now it took me a while to like work out how to do these and there's probably a better way of doing it, so I'm just gonna maximise the screen. There's probably a better way of doing it than the way I'm doing it right now. But um if you know how to do it that way then do it, but I'm not uh like I've said before, very good at bucket plugins. So um uh, this is just my way of doing it. So, if the command label dot equals ignore case. So if the command is psi or no no. Let's do. I was doing this help center plugin earlier anyway. So help hc for help center. Okay, and if the args are equal to nothing. So if there are no args, which can send the player a message. Wait, what's wrong here? Args dot length. Then player dot send message uh chat color dot dark red and we're gonna say um HC message like that so it's just like a little error thing because they haven't got any arguments they've only got the hc so after the hc they're going to put a load of stuff so as you remember if they do like um forward slash hc and then hello people my name is ben in total that would be one two three four five six arguments so that is six arguments so if the if they put that and if the arguments length was six then it would perform a command which did a certain thing so what we've got to do is we've got to run something else for however many are if there are however many arguments there are in the message now we're going to do up to um five for this case but um so it's easy if i just do it so if the args dot length are equal to one we're gonna do a bucket dot broadcast message so we're broadcasting a message to the server and we're gonna do in chat color dot gold we're gonna say help center in that like thing and then we're gonna do plus chat color dot uh, dark aqua and we're gonna right so as you might remember the arguments so after we do hc and then we do hello so there's one argument that's the first argument and that is equal to args zero so what we're going to do is we're going to print out that argument so arg zero we're going to print out arg zero so if we um copy this line and the line above and paste if the args dot length is two, then we're going to add a space, and then args one. Because if you remember, so we did hc hello my. That would be the first argument, which is equal to arg zero, and then we've got the second argument. So it's going to print out help center, and then dark aqua hello space my. Just like well, it won't print out that. It will print out whatever they've said. Now, if we um, paste that again, if the args equal to three, it's going to print out that plus a space plus args two, which is basically the third argument. And we can just keep on doing this for as long as we want, but it gets very boring after a bit. Well, a long time. But there's probably a, an easier way of doing this. It's just I don't. This this is the way that works and the way I know how to do. Um, and then print out args four. So hello, my name is Ben. That's five arguments, isn't it? Just like that. So in our plugin dot yml, we're going to have to instead of explode hc, and we can do a help center help center broadcast message. Just like that. So if we close that, refresh that, refresh that, 
and export it. And uh, this guy called Lost Spirit sent me a message, and he's very kindly offered to um help me with my server because my server, as you might have noticed, is like very laggy. So he's very kindly offered to host a server my plugin. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back in this uh this multiplayer menu, which is a uh, been like this for a while now. Anyway, we got this um Vio Ve Vio Craft. One point, just take a look at that IP. Go, go play on it. Good server, good server. Okay, join now. If we do hc dot, it's gonna say help center dot. If we do hc hello, my name name is Ben. It's gonna say hello Ben. <laughs> uh. Uh, that's that's very. Have I done something? Ah, uh, I didn't add the ones in. I'm stupid. Uh, <laughs> okay, right. Or we'll be right back in the. So I bet you were just like killing, killing yourself when um you were watching me do this. So we're gonna add another space and then that, oh, and then add um. How did I? Oh, right, so we're gonna add arg zero, then add args one, then add a space. And why did I add a space here? So just like that, and then you add this, and then args rags, args one, and then add space and then add args two then add a space then add args three then you add just just copy this line because it's tedious tedious work so we can add that and then after args three we add a space and then we add args four that's, I, I'm just quite embarrassing actually I'm not gonna lie so let's uh, just quickly export this and then I'll uh, we'll put it back into the thing mm -hmm. oh we're going okay <laughs> All right, anyway. so um yeah join this server like I said but without the port because it's for plugins okay um oh damn I'm, I'm, I'm glitched there we go okay so help center Hey, wait, hello, my name is Ben. Just like that, so, uh, hello, but if you were to do hello, my, uh, name is Ben Churchill, like that, it wouldn't work, because we haven't specified in the code what would happen if the args were more than the number. We haven't said that, we've only done up to five. So, this is, um, the easiest way I can see for you to possibly be able to do this well I'm like I said again I'm not very good at the whole bucket stuff so don't ask me ridiculous questions like I I'm not doing configs for a long time because I don't really understand them yet I can sort of do them but I really don't understand them um, so I won't be able to explain it to you so if we just go over this again um, just quickly um, if the command label is hc, so if the command is hc, and if the args aren't anything, we're going to send them a message that says that, hc message. Oh, <laughs> if the args are 1, so if there's one argument, we're going to send them a message with that argument, or well, we're going to broadcast the message. If there's two arguments, we're going to broadcast the message with both those arguments. Remember, arg0 is the first argument, and args1 is the second argument, so it's just like that. So hc, hc message, hc, h, hc, hc, hc. -h. H -E -H, H H H. See, you could just um keep on doing it with underscores, and that would just count as one argument. But that's just pretty ridiculous. Please donate, donate www.beastproject.com. Do that. Go donate. There won't be a link. There won't be a little thing on the screen this time though, so that's disappointing because I really can't bother to edit it. Um, <laughs> go suggest things in comments because I've got I'm not really very sure on what to do next. Go join the server. Yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.